Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Joe. Welcome back to Joe's Tarantulas and Spiders. And today I want to give you a little update about the spider. I'm not quite sure with the genus name or the species name. It's a spider that crawled uh, in my house, and I took the opportunity to uh, put it in an enclosure and feed it and took care of it for a little while. And then all of a sudden, I noticed that she had an egg sac. And <sighs> the enclosure that she was in fell and the whole enclosure was shaken apart and all that stuff. I felt really bad and all that stuff and I tried to save her as good as possible and which we are going to see now if the babies are already out now. You can see the web, that's where she is currently in. I don't know if there's any movement or not but I have to, we'll check that out. Um, right now because yeah okay so she's still okay uh, holding on to the egg sac this species I don't know why but it takes a really long time for the egg sac to come out so I'm not sure what to expect if you will see many eggs if the eggs or the spiderlings after they hatch after uh, eggs with legs and maybe uh, with the, or after X with legs is maybe instar first instar so uh, second instar they probably gonna crawl on the back of the mother but we'll see how that goes I will keep you posted and updated regardless to anything that will happen but as I'm looking right now everything is looking safe everything is looking good so what I'm gonna do is is still to try and maybe that I think that that mama is really in, in a little little mood for a drink so I'm gonna just spray it down a little bit put the lid back on although she won't come out because she will not abandon that egg sack and yeah we'll put that aside aside because anything that will happen I will keep you updated the um, walnut or weaver walnut or weaver babies are doing fantastically well they are hanging out in this corner right here, right there. That's the egg sack. And I'm gonna to try to hold it really still so you can see that the black stuff are actually little spiders. And you know what? Let's let's see if we can yeah, for sure I can open it up, that's no problem. If we can check out from this side, if we may, we may see some movement or such. No, it's hard to spot, right? But I know they are alive, so anyways. Okay, let's see where Mother is. Mother is, she's black as the night, so you won't be able to see her. But I'm sure at night that she will come out and hang with the egg sack because she needs to know if her babies are okay. And I think that this species is the one that uh, keeps the babies on the back, so we're probably gonna see that also. I will keep you updated regardless to anything that will happen. I'm gonna just spray a little, just spray a little. Maybe just spray a little on the web so that the younglings can drink too, right? Because they're probably thirsty. Look at them. All those little drops, just for the little guys. Just for the little guys. They are going to do well. And when mom, when mom comes out at night, I will be feeding her, so I will be filming that too. Okay, so that was uh, that was the other day. No, forgot one. So sorry. My uh, house spider. Is it called? Yeah, it's a house spider, but it's also called a false wolf spider because she has the same marks on her abdomen as a normal wolf spider. The carapace is pretty much the same. Um, the eyes are uh, put on the same place as the wolf spider. So, but it's the wolf spider with us in Europe is not like the wolf spider in America. It's a little bit smaller and all that stuff, and it's not so dangerous, it's not so nice, but anyway. This is a normal house spider. I got this as a sling. It molded, uh, for me, it molded me on the 30th of July. That would be 2019. 
and she moved it recently like a week ago which is 2020 a uh, few months it's a few months so let's see how she looks i fed her crickets she loves crickets she goes nuts for crickets and look at that Wait, let me turn that wow look at this look at this you see the mark those marks of her abdomen they're almost exactly similar to those of a normal wolf spider or normal house spider but there's nothing normal about them because these guys can reach leg spans up to eight centimeters which is enough to get your wife a jump scare that she won't sleep all night right <laughs> right so okay that would be spiders this is the enclosure that i will put her in it's nice and ventilated it's got substrate on the ground with a little cork bark some sphagnum moss to keep moist even though she doesn't need to and then a few twigs uh, bend it in a sort of make your hide or house down here way et voila so uh, stay tuned and i hope you like this video uh, subscribe like comment and we'll see how it goes again starter tarantula keeper of spiders i kept for for most like two years now so Spiders ain't nothing to do with it. I, I, spiders are normal. It's nothing special. That's what I want to say. But uh, these I just started with, so I only have three species. But nevertheless, nonetheless, we will keep feeding and rehousing and doing all such and stuff. So guys, keep it up. Have a good one. See you next time.